my name is Mitch, and I draw Blood Force. And today we're going to take a look at me, Mitch, drawing some Blood Force. But first, we're going to get a word from our sponsor, Mitch, who draws Blood Force. So what is Blood Force? This is Blood Force. Blood Force is a celebration slash send-up of 90s extreme comics. It's itself a comic book. It's drawn by me and also written by me. It's all me. I'm to blame for this. So you may be asking yourself, how do I go about reading Blood Force? And the answer is, you open up the description to this video. In there you'll find a link to my Patreon, subscribe there. That will give you access to all of the Blood Force pages. It'll also give you access to all the process stuff. I usually include stuff like just pencils lying out there. Um, you'll get all the videos. You'll also get some pre-Blood Force stuff. All this just for $3 American. It's an absolute steal. And of course, the more subscribers we get, the closer we get to the goal of publishing Blood Force. But that's a ways off. Uh, first thing we got to do, you know, baby steps, is uh, we need subscribers first. So subscribe today, read some Blood Force comics, help get Blood Force out on those shelves. And this certainly sounded like I had a third thing to say, but I don't. All right, so <laughs> I enjoyed that one. Okay, so now we're on to what appears to be Blood Force issue two, page nine, according to the thing up in the corner there. That's actually quite handy. Thank you. I might do that more often. And um, let me see if I can remember what this page was about. <laughs> I think... Oh, yeah. Okay. So, this is uh, Hawkstab being a weenie in front of Max Dremus. Uh, this is going to be something that may be a recurring theme. Um, at the very least, it will be recurring on page 10 as well. So, uh, and this is also uh, a page where I again forget that I don't have the entire page in frame when I'm doing the lettering there you go okay thank you well just don't forget again yeah just about uh, this is also gonna be a page where I um oh shoot I had the, the wording for this down um, uh, kind of indulge myself there we go um, in some very non imagey storytelling um, if I mean, you know, you wouldn't have this scene in an image book, really. This is, uh, like, sitcom shit. This is, like, off of Friends or something. But, um, apparently that's that's the stuff that I, I think is funny. I don't know. I didn't watch Friends that long. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna get some uh, stuff I would have picked up from uh, Dave Sim doing Cerebus. With uh, moment to moment transitions for comedic effect. Whoa, we just, yeah, I, I forgot. This uh, particular page, I lost a few bits of the, uh, I, th I think just the penciling. Um, I don't, it's, uh, it's NHL playoff season, and I have a tendency to uh, switch between uh, tabs, uh, which I, apparently my camera does not like, and will occasionally just. Um, Switch off in a fit of rage. So what the fuck was I just saying? Yeah, we're doing... Uh, this is going to be a... <laughs> get the, gotta get the shot of Hawkstad just jumping for joy there. Yeah, we're already on the inks too. Okay. Uh, this is largely moment-to-moment -moment transitions for comedic effect. You want to hear more about... Uh, the kind of transitions you can do in a comic book, you should go pick up Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud. That's where I heard about it. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to get Hawkstab uh, approaching Max Dremus's door. Previous panel to this, he was, like, strutting down the hallway and trying to big himself up. And, you know, like, er, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to talk some sweet talk and get Max Dremus to, like, be like, oh yes, I will go out on a date with you. This, yeah, no, he's, he's that kind of weenie. And naturally, when you get that kind of weenie in a situation where he's going to go talk to the pretty girl, the pretty girl has to derail his plans a little bit, right? You know, nothing embarrassing or anything, just, you know, he's getting ready, getting ready, and mid-getting ready, the door opens and she's right there, and ah, I was not ready. So, uh, this stuff here, this was all super quick to ink. Um, pencil too, actually. This was, uh, yeah, this page did not take very, end up taking very long, really. Which is nice. Uh, we've had a few pages where it's been a, a bit of a slog. Part of it is, you know, like, 
you know what a big part of it is? No backgrounds. It's not no backgrounds. The, the last panel is actually fairly involved backgrounds. But like, you know, you see panel one there. That's nothing. I will draw that on, in, in behind every single character every day and not complain. I don't know if I was super stoked to be drawing more Max Dreamish just because it's always like, ugh. I only get seven lines to draw her and they all have to be in the right spot. But, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's fine. And, you know, I don't have to do the whole, bot, like, proportioning her properly, which I will fuck up later. And then, yeah, let's just uh, do, do a fake background behind him. I'm allowed to do that. This page is all about just... Uh, you know, and indulging in the, the kind of stuff that I, I, I do and don't want to put on a comic page. I don't know that this works exactly for making it, you know, like like zooming the door up. That was the idea. It just kind of looks like it's dripping. And get a big old close-up of Hawk Stab here. Just because that's always fun. And, you know, I, I might as well just uh, ink a block. Like that, so uh, less likely to uh, smudge anything. There's a reason, aside from just I wanted to ink Hawksap's face. And uh, I, I don't know if uh, anybody, whoever, you know, reads the book will ever get this, but uh, this also struck me as funny, just his expression here, because uh, just shortly before this, we get him doing like the derpiest face when he gets caught off guard. And then he immediately tries to switch to, like, like a Clint Eastwood squint. And that strikes me as funny. And the only problem with doing a close-up on Hawk's type is I have to try and put more lines in the hair. Didn't look, end up looking too bad, though. All right. Now to do that dirt face. So this is one of those things, like, you will not see in an image comic. Oh, you will not see focusing on my fucking channel, either. I don't know. Um, yeah, but uh, you don't see a lot of acting, particularly not kind of comedic acting in an image comic. This is, uh, yeah, pure service kind of thing. Or, I don't know, maybe, like, some latter-day image. I'm sure there's some bits with uh, where with Warren Ellis when he was doing, you know, probably more Alan Moore when he was doing Wildcats. That's probably more what I'm thinking of. He had some goofy stuff going on there. Oh my God, will you stop? I think I gotta back the camera off a bit more next time. I'm still getting the hang of this, and it doesn't help that I just like set it up and go, and go, you know, like set it up and like look over. Like, okay, so everything's in focus. Great. And then look away for like 45 minutes <laughs> while I ink. It doesn't, uh, and, and it's not like I can, okay, no, that didn't work out. Uh, let's try take two. <laughs> that, that doesn't happen, unfortunately. So very slow process. Not helped by the fact that I cannot remember anything in between uh, drawing sessions. So it might not be for like, Seven more pages, I go, wait a minute, I was going to think about back backing off that camera, wasn't I? But anyway, I think that dirt face looked uh, turned out pretty good. Just for a dude getting caught off guard. And you even have him, like, clench up a little bit in, uh, in panel two there. Which wasn't 100%. Um intentional but it just kind of ended up with a bit more shadow and I kind of leaned into it and I do that kind of thing a lot in Blood Force where just like uh, something some line happened that probably wasn't 100% on purpose or like like I you know switched it while I was drawing like wait a minute what if I go here kind of thing and then just lean into it and Half the time it works, and half the time it doesn't. I 
But like you look at it here, like that this is half a page done. That's pretty good. It is all just on one gag. But uh, that's all right. That's totally allowed. That gag was in the, in the script. I read it. I uh, wrote it, too. And this one here, um, I did not proportion correctly. Didn't realize it until the inks were done. Ah, focus in on Very nice. No. Oh, well. <laughs> Um, the pencil version of this, I thought looked pretty good. Uh, a little austere, maybe a little too austere, but then, you know, she's supposed to be kind of austere. And, uh, yeah, this is, unfortunately, uh, the boobs ended up being a bit too low here. I don't think, oh no, yeah, you can even tell in the pencils. I had it right in the pencils and then didn't notice that I did it wrong here. So you, you gotta you gotta fix up the cleavage there. Thank you. Okay, so um, yeah, so they look a little saggy. Not too, not horribly. It's 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 ain't Grandma Maxtremis at least, but um, yeah, it could have been done better. Oh well. Yeah, again, again, it's a, it's always a case of is does this break the uh, the panel though? And in this case, absolutely not. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. And we get Hawkstab in the background here, looking fairly pleased with himself that he managed to sweet-talk his way into Max Remus's room, which consisted of him showing up and her going, oh yeah, sure, come in. But like I said, he's a weenie, so he's going to take that as a victory. <laughs> a little bit of a smirk here, just like, yeah. Who's the man? <laughs> Certainly not you. Yeah, fuck it, putz. Does have admirable hair, though. You gotta love that hair. And I like that this pose a little bit for him, too. His, uh, his muscles all kind of sit on each other fairly well here. It doesn't feel stiff or anything. This is like, yeah, no, that's that's how I... It, it feels well put together. I'm looking forward to drawing these guys in more close-ups, though. I think we got... Uh, so after this page, and I'm, I'm like halfway done... Uh, page 10 at the moment. So, holy shit, we're on, to pay, on, on the last panel already. Oh, this panel's a fucking nightmare. Well, no, it's not that bad, but it's it's still, it's definitely one of those ones I would have put off, except I was, like, determined to get this page done on this day. <laughs> so it's like, no, no, if I'm, if I'm sitting in front of here for three consecutive hours, I'm getting this goddamn page done. And I even used a little bit of perspective here. Not 100% accurate. I, I basically just picked a vanishing point off to the right here. Uh, tried to line it up roughly with their heads. And then assumed that there's a vanishing point on the same line on the other side. That's two-point perspective. Which I honestly kind of forget how to do. So I think I was doing it wrong. So I ended up eyeballing a lot of it. And basically just using that one uh, vanishing point on the right side as an anchor and tr just fucking around with the lines coming out of off the right from the page uh, and just kind of hoping that it looked about right. I think it turned out okay. It's not one of my best uh, backgrounds, but it uh, it's not like a weakness on the page or anything, really. And here I made a mistake because I... I kind of fucked things up because I put the word bubbles um, in the wrong spot. You can, I think, um, I put one right at Max Dreamus's feet, which you shouldn't do. You should, you should try not to. 
if you're going to cover up part of your guy when they're speaking, oh, this is a mistake. Couldn't wait for that to dry enough to actually letter on it. I think I've done that before, too. Anyway, as I was saying, if you're going to put a word balloon over a, a person, never do it over an extremity. Like, uh, not over hands or feet or the head. <laughs> you know. Or boobs, in extremist's case. Those are her extremities. Um, you know, you can do it over, like, a thigh or, like... A bicep or something. And again, you don't you want you don't want to do it over the dudes in this case. Just trying to clean up some of the excess and not really working too well on the letters. Anyway. Um Yeah. So I had to switch everything around, which actually meant covering up a lot of the background. And I was fairly confident uh, that I could do the background okay without it being a problem. And it was just like, oh man, now I and now I've covered it all up. And it's it feels like I'm um, blocking it on purpose. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm doing it because there's space in the in the frame for the for the words, and it honestly looks like shit if I cut it off. Oh well. All right, so let's uh, let's do some tight penciling on these people. We have a basic idea of the layout behind them. I'm not going to flesh it out much more until I've got these guys inked. Because right now I've got a portion of the panel complete with the lettering. That's not going to get touched again. So if I finish off the figures here, that's like more than a third of the panel uh, finished up that I only that I have to, and then I just have to fill in the backgrounds around them. And did a bit of a better job of keeping in mind that it's not, I don't have to make a room, you know, I don't have to draw a complete empty room and they, these guys just happen to be in the way. It's, I ha just have to fill in the spaces around them. <laughs> Someday soon, I'm going to look up what back muscles look like again. It wasn't on this page though. Yeah, not looking too bad, though. And we finally get a shot of Bextremis that's a bit more casual, I suppose, with her taking off her headdress. It's a pretty naturalistic pa uh, pose, actually, for her. It's not uh, referenced or anything, so it's not, I mean, you know, I'm not going to say it's fucking realistic, but... It's not one of the usual kind of poses. The shape of the hair here was a little iffy, really. Like the overall shape, not so bad, but something about the rendering didn't work out right in that it looks more like um, she's just I don't know. It looks more like a sheet. Didn't quite end up right, but it's okay. You know, it's not bad. And now we get to fill in some stuff. Those feet look okay. She does look like she's walking away. That's uh, that's sometimes a hard uh, pose to, to get. I've been pretty lucky with the walking away poses so far, though. And this stuff, I just looked up. I, I basically just, like, Google ser image searched fancy furniture. And, like, the first thing that would come up is, like, what would bl uh, Blood Bastion, or, you know, the Blood Force group itself, like the, 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 the government thing, what would they think would be fancy enough for an alien diplomat? And it's, you know, it's... It, it's couches with, you know, ornate... <laughs> armrests and shit. <laughs> I 
and like four pillows instead of just the two. It's all fine. Put a put a bar behind them here. Kind of. That looks like a bar a bit. We'll assume that they didn't, you know, lay it out specifically for Max Dreamus, so it's got like taps and shit on the bar. And then, yeah, some sort of random lines behind it there. Never un underestimate the value of random lines in a background, you know, just to provide detail. Or, like, you know, if you have to do some some straight lines, make it two straight lines that are parallel and very close. And somehow, and then that just kind of adds more detail again. Super helpful. I don't know that this couch here really works in perspective because it looks like it might be a little pretty small, but eh, maybe kind of like a love seat kind of thing. I did put it in that other armrest, right? Because it looks as though, yeah, that's the, I can't tell if that's the armrest or that's the carpet around it. And you know what? That's fine. If I can't tell what happened there, you sure as shit can't. So we're A-OK. -okay. And another little chair here and coffee table. Um, I did end up putting stuff on the coffee table because I just have, I have the tendency again to get tunnel vision or just, okay, draw a coffee table. No, <laughs> get it done. Get it out of the way. And then it's like, oh wait, people put things on those. I don't think about the logic of it really. And it kind of sunk the Whatever this is, if this is a sitting room or, you know, that kind of thing. And gave him a bit of a carpet to kind of mask the fuck up on the perspective there, on the right side, I think. Looks okay. Um, this chair here ended up being too close, though, but with the word balloons over it and my extremist's ass and the hair, uh, again, I don't think you can really tell too much. And gave them a balcony, even though I'm pretty sure I've suggested up until this point that most of um, Blood Bastion is actually underground. Again, things you may or may not catch when reading the book. But it's just shit that I think is hilarious. And yeah, it didn't turn out, end up turning out too bad here. Like I said, it's not, not my best background, but it's uh, it's okay. Oh, and that's the end of that. Okay, so yeah, that ended up turning out okay. Um, as you can see, put a flower pot next to Backstreet's ass there, which even further obscures that chair. Perfect. Um, <laughs> and I think that might be about it, really. But that was the main thing. Uh, you can see how messy that... Or, I don't know, I'm, I've zoomed in, so I can see how messy that lettering turned out. So that's another thing we're going to have to fix up in post-production, uh, assuming post-production ever happens. Um, overall, not too bad. Very quick page, which is always nice, always welcome. Uh, hopefully I can get page 10 done within the next couple of days so I can stay on schedule. I'm, I fell behind a little bit with, um, I don't even know what the pages were. I, all the post-popo pages. Now, even the Popo pages a little bit, those, those kind of slowed me down. I had, I had a lot of extra leeway time going into issue two, and it's it's just taking me a little bit longer than it should on every page, and now it's all kind of mounting up. Um, so I have to try and force myself to, to finish up quickly on some of these. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I think. Uh, worst comes to worst, you just get an extra revisit at the end of the week. Why not? Those are usually pretty easy to do. But uh, yeah, no, if you made it this far, thanks for uh, sticking around. Uh, if you like the video, please hit like, uh, hit subscribe, and hit the notifications so you'll know when I'm doing another one. Uh, another good way to find out if I'm doing another one is to follow me on Twitter at Team Blood Force. Uh, best way is to go on Patreon and subscribe there, and then as soon as I get the stuff done, you get access to it. But we're making progress. Um, very, they're very likely issue two will be done before like October. Which so <laughs> at this rate, um, and uh, yeah, um, 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.